So hi, this, this tutorial will explain how to develop a model for the deep, deep platform uh, from scratch. So we are going to develop the model on our local machine because like unlike training, model developing is, is quite low, 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 low intensive on, on, on computing resources. So you don't need a big GPU to, to, to develop your machine learning model. You can do it perfectly on a simple CPU. But in case you want to, 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 to either have more resources or or, or have a custom development environment, you can use uh, the development environment in the deep dashboard. So if you go to the dashboard, you have to be uh, to have a, a IAM account to, to, to get in. But you can you can uh, you can use you can deploy a deep development environment, which is basically like you can you, you get to choose whatever Docker Hub image you want. So you can select the uh, TensorFlow, official TensorFlow images, official PyTorch images, whatever you like. And yeah, you get to choose the resources and, and so on. But as I as I said, like in this demo, we are going to to to, to do everything in our local machine. But the, the steps are the same. So first of all we have to to, to set up the framework and, and for this we we, we will use the, uh, the Kui Carter tool. So Kui Carter is a tool that enables to create some, some repos starting from a template. So, so you, just, you just input this, this command in your machine and you will be prompt with some questions. So let's see the questions. So First of all, which what do we want to host our our repo? So you have to host your repo somewhere where you have write access. So either your personal account or the account of your organization. So I'm going to upload it to my personal account. So some name for your for your for your for your module. So I'm going to name it tutorial app. So repo name the same, author name that's me. Let's input some email at gmail.com. Whatever. Some description. A version, we choose a mid license. Which Docker Docker image do we want to use? So we could have PyTorch images, whatever. We are going to use uh, standard TensorFlow. So which tag do we want to use? So let's say we could have 2.7.0, but let's let's go for the default. So this is the, the default. Uh, what, what, what will be the, the, the GPU tag? So it will depend if you if you are in Python TensorFlow, but this this is for TensorFlow. And do you want to receive a, a, a failure email? No, we do not. So so if you see uh, you see that we have created a, a DPOC uh, to, to repo, so DPOC tutorial app and tutorial app. So this is the repo with the with the Docker files, and this is re the repo with the, the code of our of our module. So the first the first the first thing is to edit the well. The first thing is is to 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 push the to create the those the repos in our in our in our github account so that we have them so let's create this one create repo done and let's create the other one so that one So now that we have both, we can we can upload a, a, an initial an initial version of the code. So let's go to the C and then do 
a git push original to upload all the all the branches so let's see and same for the other one so as you see well we should see here that now we have a initial version of, of both of both the of both codes so same for the for the code in 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 the tutorial app so now we have we we have to to start editing our code so the code repo looks like this it's a python installable code uh, and python installable package and and yes the code of your module is inside uh, this folder so here you have an api.pi that is going to 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 serve as 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 the interface with the deepas api and and in the rest of in the rest of the folder you could create any file you want containing all your code so one when when you when you want to to expose uh, your predict function you would create a, a get pre, a, a predict function here in the api.pi with some predict arguments and and you will call for any 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 other function in any other in any other file of the of the document and and you would get your results so first things first what we have to do with this code app is is install install it so as it's a python installable package we will install it in in python in in editable mode so that any changes we make to the package will be reflected so any changes after installation will still be reflected so let ins let's install the package and done so the file we have to edit is this api.pi so it's in tutorial app it's in so if you remember this was the folder structure so this is standard requirement file and, and so on and our code is here so let's let's edit tutorial app.pi and this is what what it looks like so we have a, a get metadata file uh, function that is common to, to everything and then we can implement some 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 additional functions so this get metadata we, we do not have to remove it as as it it, or it works for out of the box so let's say we want to implement some 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 predict function and some and some uh, well only let's say we want to to implement the predict function so we will will take as as a as a base for for this function the what what we have here which is a, a, a demo application which is kind of a dummy application that that, ser that serves as reference for the, for the project so it's it does not use any machine learning or whatsoever but is it's kind of nice because it it demonstrates uh, best practices for 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 all other other modules so in this case what this application does as i said it does not it does not it does not do any any machine learning it just takes some inputs and returns those same inputs as as outputs so we can see how it works here so in the in the api.pi we see for example it gets some predict inputs which can be strings, uh, choices among strings, uh, in integers, floats, booleans, whatever, and it would take the inputs and 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 returns and returns the same the same the, the, the same one the, the same inputs, and this is uh, what what is called a schema that is is what what we use to validate the response to the predict function. So everything this all those 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 three objects are are a standard uh, are are needed for for implemented for implementing for implementing a successful a successful predict function so yes that's that's more or less everything
and yep so let's save this and so the next step is like like now we assume you have already coded your application and well in our case it was this dummy application but in your case it could be a, a, a more complex one so now we want to see if if, if everything works so let's let's deploy the dpass the the dpass the dpass api to 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 see to see if 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 this is working so if if our code works as as intended so with this command we deploy the we deploy the dpass api and we we can we can go to this direction to find the ui so As you can see, we are not finding uh, our 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 module here. So this means that we we have to check what what is happening. So we can we can check it by running uh, the the modules file. And what we see is that indeed there was the 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 API file. And what we see is that indeed we we had some problems. We forgot to 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 import this and. This is of course my mistake because uh, it was this line that we had to, to also copy. So let's copy it now. We are always on time to do this and well just in case let's copy all those additional additional imports because they, they we might use them here and there so let's be on the safe side mm. so so this is duplicated well so this should be fine so let's check now if we are getting so this this is not not a big issue just just some just some warnings about about deprecation but this should be fine so let's run our our dpass api and let's check if now it detects correctly the tutorial app so yes it's here so that's our tutorial app and let's let's do a simple prediction so we have some strings and some numbers and some digs and they ask also to to choose some some images so that's required so, so some audio also and let's choose some video so we make a, a prediction and we see a 200 successful code so we are returned the same strings and the same ints that we were fed and the images are returned in base64 so it's encoded but it they are the same the same one as 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 we fed as we fed them so everything works fine so we are happy everything everything looks bright so one one last step before concluding our code development is that we enforce for for all apps in in the marketplace that they 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 follow uh they they, they, they follow some qu code quality guidelines and in case of python apps this is pep8 uh, guidelines so you have to check that your code complies with pep8 so that it's uh, good quality code so uh, for this you you can run the flake 8 uh, command so if you if you return flake if you if you if you run the flake flake 8 so you you will see some warnings in our case so we can fix them so for example uh, we import a module that is not that is not used so math and, and, and time is not used and we left too many blank lines here and there so let's fix it and and let's and, and and then let's let's see what what we get so 
let's remove this on uh, import modules and let's fix let's fix those 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 one so well let's remove everything this so let's run replicate again to many blank times So Flecate runs well, so our code is 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 compliant with quality quality guidelines for Python modules, so we are happy. So once this 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 is done, then we we can we can we can commit all the changes. So let's commit everything. So uh, code update whatever update and let push the changes to, to github so if we go to, to our application so we see that this is the new the new the new commit is reflected so this our code is is running well we are happy let's let's go for the next step so the next step is 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 editing the the docker repo so the docker repo basically consists of, of several files so let's check what the repo looks like so we we have a docker file with 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 uh, the, what the instructions to build uh, our docker container so so some quality some some continuous integration file with jenkins the metadata and a readme so the basic two files are the metadata and the docker file so the metadata is, is the information that will be displayed for, for your module on, on, on the marketplace. So you can, you can check what this looks like, but basically there's a title, a description, an extended description, and um, whatever. So you can modify whatever you want, but if you modify it, please uh, make sure that, that your, your modification is still compliant with, with with the JSON format, so for this you you run our our schema validator, and if you if you happen to make a, a change that is not compliant, you will see an error here. If you if everything works fine, so then then everything is 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 nice and and, and tidy. So next step is is to is to check our Docker file. So the Docker file should should run out of the box, but Sometimes you 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 for if you if you have uh, very special needs you you might need some some additional Linux package what that that is not included in the in the mod Python module requirements so that would happen so you you could add additional commands here and there to to install those packages but basically what the Docker file does is install all the packages needed in in in. For, for integration with the platform, for for example, AirClone to 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 be able to to synchronize with remote storage, so Jupyter Lab to be able to to edit the code from from the dashboard, and and for DPass for 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 interfacing with your with your modules, so with your modules, some some initialization scripts here here, some and what what the main thing important for you what's the main important thing for you here you have your 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 personal uh, your the code you just you just uh, created right so let's let's check this this builds fine so this this should be this you should always do this before before committing before committing just to to check your your code is is is, is still working so it will build all the all the all the steps, and 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 after building, we are going to run it and and check that that everything 
is 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 running as as it did in in, in our local machine. Well, so it took a, qu a couple of minutes, but it 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 finished building. So let's check. Let's deploy the the container and and, and check it's working. So let's see. It it looks like it 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 detects correctly your your application. Let's try it that. Let's try that. It it makes also a correct a correct prediction. As, as it did in, in local so input some files and we get a successful answer so everything is, is working as, as it did in, in, in local so once you have you have uh, validated that the docker file works and the metadata are, is fine you can you can commit the changes to to, to github so let's let's commit them well we did not change anything in this case of course yeah i forgot but so there's nothing to commit so no 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 changes so because we didn't edit the the the, the metadata but we could we could just for for sake of 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 the argument let's let's set it here so if you if you for example let's make a, a, a wrong edit so let's if we edited the metadata.json and it was it was wrong so it will it will output some 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 error here in, in line three so let's let's make a, a, a correct edit so let's let's have back and let's change for example some description and more so we commit the changes to github and and we are done so we have we have edit we have edit created our code and we have a uh, great created the, the, the rep container the docker files so we the only last step we have to do is 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 integrate our new module in the marketplace so for this what we have is is to is to create a create add this at our module to 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 an index uh, which is which tracks all the modules in the marketplace so in this case is making a, a pull request on this file so the structure of the pull request is that you have to input this some a line containing the module and, and your name so if in my case it's ignacio heredia this well not not your name your your github account or the github account of your organization in case you upload it 
and if you remember this was tutorial app so once you have this file you would commit the changes and create a new pull request and you will get eventually approved and your code will be merged in the marketplace so your once your code is in the marketplace it will it will appear it will appear in as along as uh, along with with all other codes here so the image detector a plant classifier uh, whatever so every module in marketplace will appear here and your module will be will be obsolete there so hope you enjoyed the tutorial and and it was clear enough so see you bye